Hi, this is Tom Matson, and in this short tutorial, we are going to talk about Teleprompter Pro's remote control feature. And one of the early feature requests that we had for Teleprompter Pro was to add the ability to remotely control the scrolling of the content on the fly. So we added that functionality. However, there is no noticeable option for it on the options page. Now what we did is we added a remote control key codes text file which shows you which keys control which functions and in order to use this feature you need a numeric keypad or a remote numeric keypad. So what we're going to do, let me go ahead and connect in here and I'm going to grab the remote control key codes text file that's included in your download uh, zip file. And we're going to drop that in here. And it's going to show you what these functions are. And we're going to go through them as well, too. So we're leaving everything set to the same, same scrolling speed and the same, uh, the same delay. Uh, we're not changing anything. We're just going to go ahead and, and start this. And then I'm going to walk through and show you how these keys work. So, but let's do it. Okay. And you can control the content being scrolled on your screen. Below is a list of the commands. Now, be sure to set numlock to on. That's important. Now, to pause scrolling, you will click on the asterisk key. I just did that, and it has paused. To resume scrolling, you will press on the forward slash key. And I have clicked that, and now it is scrolling again. I'm going to click the pause button again for just a second. And you can see, if we wanted to jump backwards, about a screen size about 720 pixel, we will hit the minus key to go forwards. It'd be the, pause, or the plus key. So I'm going to go ahead and resume first and now I'm going to hit the minus key and it goes backwards and goes forward and then I'm going to hit that and pick me back up and to jump all the way back to the start of the script you're going to hit the dot or delete key or it's probably going to be the same key but anyway it's the, the period or the, the dot key so I'm going to go ahead and resume and then I'm going to hit that and it's right back up to the start again now if you want to change the speed on the fly, and that could, there's a number of times when you may need to do that, what you will do is you will first pause, you'll click after to pause, and then you will select either any of the number keys, any of the numeric keys, either 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, or 0, and 1 is, represents 1, the speed 1, 2 represents the speed 2, 0 represents the speed of 10, which is the fastest speed. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select a 9, and then I'm going to press the forward slash to start back up, and you can see it's rolling fairly quickly. I'm going to pause again, and I'm going to change it to a 2, press forward slash, and you can see it's slowed down. And now I'm going to go ahead and let this start over, and then I'm going to pause. Let me just start back up again. All right, I'm going to pause. I'm going to hit zero, which is essentially a ten speed, the fastest speed. Forward slash. There it rolls. Okay, so we're good. I'm going to pause. We are done here. That's all there is to the remote control. Uh, key codes and to be able to remotely control the, the speed as well as being able to jump forwards, jump backwards, and jump to the start of your script. So hopefully that's a big help for those of you who do need this. And until the next uh, recording, I think we're going to talk about short codes in the next recording. Happy recording.